I've had a few of my customers reach out to me and say, hey Jeff, when I hook up my phone for Apple CarPlay, it doesn't automatically connect. So we're gonna set this up here that I've plugged in my actual iPhone, and you can see my Apple CarPlay did not start automatically. Now if you saw in the beginning of the other video, as we set up for doing CarPlay, you needed to select automatically versus manually. Now if manually somehow gets selected, this is how we fix that. We're gonna go back to our home here, and this is gonna bring us to our activities, and then we're gonna move over to the connect icon here. And once you select into that connect icon, it's gonna give us a bunch of different actual pieces here. Now, since I have an iPhone, I do need to use CarPlay. If you had Android, you would do the Android Auto below, which you also need the app for. But with CarPlay, I click into this, and you notice it didn't have start automatically. So I'm gonna click on that, and it's actually gonna get it reset back to this. Now, if I just try to go to media as the source that comes into it now, it's only gonna play on the screen. It's not gonna actually do CarPlay like it would be for Bluetooth. So I'm gonna unhook my phone here, and then this time when I plug it back in, we'll actually get it to start with CarPlay. So now we'll go back to the main menu. You'll see that CarPlay is highlighted back up above. We click that, and there you go. Quick and easy way to troubleshoot the CarPlay. If you have further questions or if this didn't help you out, uh, shoot me an email or give me a comment down below, and we can help troubleshoot together. Take care.